season. Our next guest is ready, getting ready for his uh, annual Strawberry Festival at South Jackson Community Church, Pastor Steve Brown. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Well, you're dressed for a Strawberry Festival. I figured I better look the part. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, are, are there strawberries ready? Somewhere in the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little late here in the Jackson area. And uh, they said call back on Monday to see if we have strawberries. But we will be getting our strawberries supplied uh, from probably Country Market. All right, so the Strawberry Festival is this Sunday, the 9th. So because the weather, really the weather is, typically you do get local strawberries for this. Typically, I think they said the last 20 years, this is only the third time we've had to have uh, store-bought strawberries. But they're good berries and uh, good and tasty. I've never had a bad strawberry. Well, I've been to the South Jackson Community Church Strawberry Festival, and it is a great strawberry festival. I think my all-time favorite uh, dessert is strawberry shortcake, and that's the star attraction. Yeah, it sure is. So tell us about the festival. What, what happens, where it is, how much, uh, what okay. you get? Well, it started around 60 years ago that we uh, started doing this for the community, and it just kind of caught on year after year, and people started expecting it, and <laughs> the numbers kept growing, and... Years ago, we used to go out and pick our own strawberries. And that got to be quite a, quite a challenge because we, right now, we're doing over 300 pounds of strawberries. Yeah, that's and that, a lot of people. That's a lot of berries. And so what happens is you can come to the church at 1024 West Kimmel, and you just get in line. We'll take you back. There's a queue. We can feed about 75 people at a time back in the hall. And if you'd like takeout, we have takeout services available also. So you come, buy your tickets, let us know what you want. We have music playing. Uh, I think we're going to have someone singing this year. And just take your time, enjoy the strawberries. We have, uh, right, after, right after the service on Sundays, we take everybody in the back and we haul the berries. And then we clean them. And of course, we have to have the health department there. So it's all, <laughs> and we're all inspected there. So we haul the berries, get them clean, take them, and we chop them all and add the sugar. Then we're making the shortbread at the time. So a lot of times people get a generous supply, as you can see on the picture, a generous supply of warm shortcake, lots of berries. And if you're a diabetic, we have sugar-free berries also. And uh, Frosty Boy uh, helps us out with donation of ice cream. So the Frosty Boy on Cooper Street with Danny Aminati thank him for donating the ice cream for us. So you get a couple scoops of some of the best ice cream in Jackson County. And uh, yeah, just enjoy yourselves. Well, you're right. You do get a generous uh, a piece of shortcake. I couldn't believe how big uh, yeah. this, it is. It's like, it's huge. Yeah. You won't need to eat lunch. No, you don't, no. no. And you won't eat the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, like uh, I think it was last year, I had a woman come up to me and she was, in her 80s, if not her 90s, and she had on all her finest clothing and jewelry, and she came up and she says, I want to let you know that I licked the plate too. <laughs> and it looked like she did. Well, it's perfectly acceptable. All right, it starts at uh, 2 o'clock, Sunday afternoon, mm -hmm. goes till 4, and uh, South Jackson Community Church, corner of Kimmel and South Jackson. Correct. Easy to find, just uh, down the road from JC. Mm -hmm. uh, almost kitty corner to uh, Dahlem. Correct. Steve, uh, you've got a lot of history with the Strawberry Festival, but you also have a lot of history with your church and the, uh, the cemetery that's on your property. The cemetery is a very, very old cemetery, and we are in the process of restoring it and uh, shoring up some of the headstones that we can. Some of the old style that stand tall have broken off, and we're bracing them and putting them back together and trying to put it back to be a very respectable place as it should be. And there's quite a crew working on that, putting in new foundations, and, and that's a lot of work, but it goes noticed, it goes noticed. We have people going out there, uh, Gwen and Ivy have go out there every week and they water the flowers that the people plant so they don't have to keep coming out and watering them, uh, cleaning the headstones, and uh, it really shows. If you look out there, it really, it really looks good. Well, I don't know if people would want to join the church and have to start hauling strawberries uh, on their first day, but 
you are welcoming anyone to join your congregation. Yeah. We have had people come just so they could haul the berries and be a part of the <laughs> festivities because we, we have a really good time doing all that. So it's, it, it is good. It is, it is a good time. What and time it, is your uh, Sunday service? Our Sunday services are from 10.30 to 11.30, and if I go to 11.31, they throw me out. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so right after the service at uh, 11.30, we go right in the back and we get busy. But 10.30 we start. We're a traditional church, and so if you like the hymns, uh, it's old-fashioned. You have old-fashioned strawberries, old-fashioned ice cream, and old-fashioned hymns. All right. Uh, day of old-fashioned at the South Jackson Community Church. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, I hope to make it out myself. I look for you. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome treat. Uh, thank you to South Jackson Community Church Pastor Steve Brown. Stay with us. We're headed to the golf course. Cascades, they've got a lot of events coming up. There's Phil Fishmeister from the Cascades.